Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with John Jeremiah. And I get the sense that mobility is really kind of changing the way that, that companies need to look at application lifecycle and how quickly they are, they are iterating. I mean, it used to be that people would put up a, a, a website and maybe it wouldn't change for right. months at a time, maybe, maybe even a year or more. But that's right. it seems like mobile is making everybody move a little faster. Oh, Jake, I think mobile is one of these catalysts that's driving uh, velocity and change throughout the enterprise. It's, I think it's one of the drivers behind DevOps, and it's something that agile and agile processes are, are really forcing organizations to really rethink how do we build apps and how do we get them out the door faster and faster. You know, it impacts the development teams and the tools they use. It impacts how they do testing, how they do automation using real devices, and how they do performance testing so it's built into the life cycle so they're testing every time they do a build, they run their tests. And then the, the last part of this life cycle, it has to be accelerated because you need to have user feedback. You need to know how this app is working. Are users enjoying the app? Are they getting value from the app? So if you don't have the monitoring piece to know if it's working or not, then the enterprise, the builders of the app don't know how to fix it, how to make it go faster, how to make the you get more value out of these apps. So it's driving DevOps, it's driving all of that together. And, and this has been exciting for us because we've been putting tools into place and solutions that are helping our customers do all of this. So what's the fundamental shift that has to happen inside the enterprise? Because most enterprises don't typically move very fast. Well, you're right, it, and it's a cultural shift, right? It's a cultural shift of aligning the you know, the development teams on one hand, to get them to work closer and more closely with the ops teams so that way they get this feedback. The, the, the days where we threw it over the wall and waited for users to get it and users to, to use the app and the developers moved on to a different project don't, won't work in mobile. Uh, you have to think differently about the app as a product and it becomes a product team working together. This is, becomes, this is really all about DevOps, it's about working together to know what that app is doing and what users are experiencing. And so it's tools are real important to do this, but it's a, it's a mindset shift first that I think has to happen in organizations. Uh, I was talking to a customer just yesterday about this, and you know, they described how they do waterfall projects, and they, they're, they're very traditional in the way they're doing it. And, and they shared how as they go to mobile, they're experiencing this cultural shift where they have to go from the old way of working to the new way of working. So, how do you get people to, to make that change? Because I mean, you look at a lot of apps, people are still kind of taking the approach that if they get enough negative user feedback, that then they might make a change. And, right. and even then, maybe that's like six months down the road. Well, you know, it's, it's interesting because we've, we were working, we had a hackathon recently where we, we actually did a, a, a tool that we, we built a tool in this hackathon to use big data and to do sentiment analysis looking at what people are saying in the app store. But that's fascinating, it's important, it's great insight as to what are people saying, but it's so much too late. Because by the time a user gives a review, especially a negative review, that's usually when they're deleting the app. We've, you've lost them if it's them. You have to measure user feedback and measure the user experience in real time now. Uh, you have to know whether the app meets their needs. You have to know when they click on submit, when they click on look up transaction, when they click on uh, find floor maps in, the, in an app to find, if you have a conference app and you're trying to find where things are at. You have to know if the app is performing right now because the turnaround to fix that has to happen quickly because if it's not meeting their needs, your developers have to be there. So I think the catalyst for this often is the reviews. Often it is the surge in one-star reviews that forces a team to go back and look at their process, to look at what are they doing, to realize that they have to work differently. And sometimes it is those one-star reviews that drives that change. And regretfully, usually that, you know, if that is what drives it, then they quickly look for how do we change our processes? What tools do we need to use in order to achieve this velocity throughout the life cycle? That's, a, that's an excellent way to look at it. I, I think, where is that going next though? Because if you get people to solve the processes so they're moving a little bit faster and, and, and they're doing the iteration, where does it go from there? Because I mean, 
you're still may, maybe you're still not intercepting everything. And and I mean, if you look at process, you always you always want to improve on process. So so how do you improve after you've kind of made that cultural shift? Well, the key I think is as I look at this is when I. I examine and think about teams that have done Agile and teams that are doing DevOps. It's not process, but it's a, it's a mentality of continuous improvement. It's a mentality of, of always learning, of doing small experiments and, and gaining over time. Uh, this, this is, this is a, an element that has a common thread throughout what's happened in the last five to 10 years of implementing Agile and implementing process, processes or ways of developing software that's fundamentally different. It's, it's really about getting that feedback. It's about listening to the users, whether it's the business owner, or the product owner of an application, or the end users, to making sure then that your solution that you're developing, whether it's, even if it's a mobile app or a traditional application, it's about understanding and getting that feedback and then iterating quickly to meet their needs. The days of traditional IT where we would build a system, an application, a mobile, it wasn't a mobile app, but a system, and then throw it over the wall and not do it again for six months or a year or two years or 10 years. Those days are over. IT has to embrace this. And I think what happens next is what we're seeing in mobile is expanding out. We're seeing it now in web apps. We're seeing it in IT systems where they're being built in modules. We're seeing components that are being built. We're seeing the velocity of DevOps and the spirit of DevOps expanding into other systems that are equally important to the enterprise and equally important to end users. Websites are moving faster and faster. Uh, systems supporting sales teams, I look at Salesforce and other systems are happening faster and faster. The culture of DevOps that is intense in mobile is now happening more and more across the enterprise. So mobile is kind of the catalyst for everything else. I think mobile is a catalyst that's driving a lot of things. It's, it's driving an explosion of big data, right? We see the internet of things, we see all of these things. A lot of it comes from mobile. How often do you check your flight status now? Um, I let my, my flight status check me, actually. Well, you, you do that, but a lot of people are checking flight status all the time. I was on a flight coming, coming here, worried about flight status of a connection I was making. I checked it half a dozen times. Why? Because I could. Imagine the transaction volume that that's causing, the spikes of that. I mean, you, mobile has a huge impact on transaction volume. There's, there's been news reports of big retailers struggling with issues on Black Friday about transaction volume and mobile having an impact upon their performance. You know, this is something that forces or organizations have to think really hard about. How do we prepare for mobile? How do we prepare for the big data that comes with mobile? Uh, mobility is really, it's impacting all of us, and it's something that you know the life cycle and development teams have to really rethink, embracing the users and accelerating their development. All right, well, that's a, I think that's a good place to stop here. Fantastic, thanks, Jake. Thank you.